I'm Jen Mallon. Welcome to Come Home. It is a beautiful day. You are breathing. You're alive. God is on the throne. There is hope and he has a future and a hope and an expected end and a plan just for you and your household. I just sent some of you are praying, asking, seeking, knocking, and the Lord says, I hear you. I've heard you and I'm right there. Sometimes we just need some encouragement from the body. We need some encouragement from those around us just to point us to how good God is. He is an ever-present help in the time of trouble, and He knows those who trust Him. I know you trust Him, and God is getting ready to do some really cool things in your life, some exceedingly and abundantly, some 36 and 100-fold return harvest stuff. So keep pressing, keep praising, keep shouting, keep decreeing, keep declaring. Your camels are coming, woman of God, and they're loaded down with riches and treasures. Man of God, he hears that effectual, fervent prayer that, uh, that, that comes from a righteous place in you, not because of anything you've done, because, but because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And so hold on, expect, listen, this is a process and all the Lord wants us to do is progress in the process and you can do it today. That is my pep talk for you. Now, that is just a little tiny appetizer compared to the pep talk you're gonna get from my guest today. She is a wonder woman in the spirit. Her name is Apostle Cindy Stewart. She and her husband that have been married for 42 years, uh, they pastor in this area and their church is called The Gathering Place and it is a new wine skin apostolic center raising up leaders and she is just a model, I believe, for what God wants to do in this season on the earth, a pioneering spirit and you're gonna get so much from her rich word, her testimony and the things that God's done. So let's go to this message and we'll be right back with Apostle Cindy Stewart. Want more Come Home? Keep the conversation going online by connecting with us on social media. Hear more from Jen, learn more about our guests, and connect with other viewers on Facebook and Instagram. Follow at Jen Mellon to find out more. Welcome back. I am excited about my guest today. Her name is Apostle Cindy Stewart. And I say apostle intentionally because apostle means a sent out one. And God has truly sent her out from a traditional church into creating a new wineskin church, from just one church to a network of believers, from just one dimension into this multi-dimensional media platform. She and her husband have five children and eight grandchildren, and they have been so faithful in stewarding the gifts that God has given them. And so it is a great honor and privilege to welcome you, and thank, thank you so you. much for coming. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here, Jen. Yay. You know, I just love you. I love your show. So it's exciting for us to have this little bit of time together. Well, you are a busy woman, and to get you on the show was like... Um, <laughs> I had to trust the Lord and, you know, I had to get some fasting and prayer in there. But you know why? Because you're about the Father's business yes. and you are doing television and you are writing books and you are pastoring and you are life coaching and you are podcasting and you are this and you are that and there's more and blogging and you, you've you just said yes. And it's it's a beautiful thing. You know, I love the season of my life. You know how you, when you get in that sweet spot yeah. and everything just seems to roll, I, I always tell people, God has made it where I always have enough time to do oh. what I need to do, whether it's spend time with my grandchildren. My secret love is tennis. I play competitive Ooh, tennis. Good for you. I, I just have time. Yeah. And it's not that um, I don't have enough to do. It's just that God orders my day and it all seems to work out every once in a while. I even sneak in a nap. 
Hey, <laughs> the rest of God. Okay, well, we can do a whole show on how it's can I do a nap, right? That's awesome, though, and it's important. It is. And it's holy. There's yeah. nothing wrong with taking a nap. There it, and, and, you know, I traveled all last week. I was gone seven days, which is unusual. I'm usually not gone a whole week at a time. But Monday, I played tennis. I did a conference call, and then I took a nap. But God just enabled me to get everything done so I wasn't stressing about not doing this or not doing that. I was just in his ease. Yeah. And he just works it out for us. I think, especially coming out of the pandemic, I really think that he's calling the front runners and the remnant to believe him for light and easy. Yeah. Because it doesn't, I think we've made it much too difficult uh, in seasons past. That old wineskin leadership model was not light and easy. <laughs> no, it was not. It, it was a heavy burden. And you know, I think the pandemic was a reset. Yeah. And us to really find where's the spot that God has for me and I will flourish in that place. Yeah. And I know that he's reassigned a lot of us and given us these new anointings that have really opened up opportunities that we never even thought were possible. But it's just because he's positioned and really his breath is on us in this season. 